screening tests. Now we do a lot of stress tests in our office because it's a physiologic type of test. It tells us what happens while you're on a treadmill or under stress. It's not always enough to know if you have a blockage in your artery, but the question is, is that blockage preventing your heart from getting the sufficient blood flow that it needs? Stress tests tell us that because they tell us under stress or under a stressful condition what kind of blood flow is your heart getting. This is a typical nuclear camera where you lie down and the, cam the bed goes into the camera and it takes about 15 or 20 minutes to take pictures of your heart. Unfortunately, the whole process takes a few hours between the injection of the material, getting on the treadmill and taking a second before and after comparable set of pictures. And this is an example of what we look at when we look at a stress test. These circles represent the muscle of your heart, like as if it were shaped like a loaf of bread or a football, and you can cut it so you see every little bit of the heart. And on the top line are the stress pictures, and on the bottom line are corresponding resting pictures. And this is repeated in different views. And you can see if an area of the heart isn't getting enough blood flow, it will look dull or, or less bright than the adjacent areas. Now at Boca Raton Community Hospital, we're fortunate to have a very high-tech machine called a CT angiogram, basically a CAT scan that's been fast enough that it can picture or image the heart. Until now, CAT scans haven't been fast enough that they can image the heart because it's beating and constantly in motion. So they're very good at picking up stomach or abdominal problems or lung problems where the organ is not moving, but the heart is moving, so there was a lot of artifact. But we have this new CAT scanner at the hospital that's so fast that it can actually get good pictures of the heart even while it's beating. And this is an example of a CAT scan of the heart with a corresponding cardiac catheterization image showing nice correlation with this blockage in the right coronary artery. This is an example of this 64 slice CAT scan. And not only can you see the arteries, but you can see stents calcium deposits, and you can see the heart with the arteries overlying it. So you can see if there are problems or enlargement of the heart and which part of the artery the problem might correspond to. Now, to summarize, I think it's really important to um, maintain a healthy lifestyle, and we could learn a lot of lessons from dogs in this, in this fashion. Go for a joy ride, appreciate fresh air, get outside and take a walk, Greet loved ones when they come home. Play every day. Take naps. Stretch before rising and be loyal. And I'd like to close by stating that I think it's very important, should, important that everyone have some type of passion or something that they love doing aside from work and aside from your routine activities. For me, it's always been about cars since I was about 10 years old. And uh, this is a picture of me at the racetrack up in Moroso in Palm Beach Gardens. So um, I hope everyone's enjoyed this talk, and if you have any questions, we'll open it up in a few minutes. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to touch on the risk factors once again um, for heart disease, and that is high blood pressure, smoking, alcohol, um, high cholesterol, high blood sugars, and triglycerides, diabetes, physical inactivity, and obesity. And these are all risk factors set forth by the American Heart Association.